ladies and gentlemen, for the first time ever, we found a 2023 Tiffin Motorhome that's 35 foot coach with a 450 horsepower motor, all of the luxury features that we find in Allegro bus, all packed into 35 feet. Today I'm hanging out here with Brian at Trans West. Brian, how you doing, sir? I'm doing great, Andrew. Good to see you again. Thanks for coming. It's a pleasure to be here, and I'm excited to see a 35-foot Allegro bus. Yeah, this is a 35 CP model, and you said it's got the power, it's got class, it's got the punch. I can't wait to show it to you. It's really a nice outfit. Now, from what I'm seeing here, this looks like Tiffin may be responding to the Newmar New Air. Would you think it'd be safe to say this is a response to the New Air? You know, I definitely would agree with you because, as you know in the industry the only coach under 40 feet that has a 450 in it of a luxury line has been the new air by Newmar which is a super coach this is a neat coach at a little bit cheaper price so I think I'll let you decide if when you see it well yeah let's take a tour of this coach I said we uh, take a look at the basement bays and then uh, we'll take a look inside uh, looks like a power 50 amp core grill what's all going on that's right you've got a power cord well lit bay easy to get to here's your control switch so again it's out of the way as you know when you course are at your campground, you can close it up, put it down in the recessed uh, receptacle and close it up and lock it up. Make it nice and safe and tight. Keep that heat in. If you're camping in the fall or spring, that'll keep that heat in there also. Your next bay is your 450 Aqua Hot. Plenty of juice for your hydronic heating system. Check your fluids. A nice, strong gas coach to keep it open so wind's not gonna blow it if you need to get into it. But let's face it, most of the time, Andrew, you don't really need to do anything in this bay. Yes, sir. And I'm noticing when we're opening and closing these basement bays, they seem to be a little bit more firm. Are these an updated basement door? Or do you know if this is the same? I think it's the same. I, I just like the fact that they're taller, if you notice. Oh, yes, sir. There's yes, a nice sir. height to these, a very generous opening to get in there. So you're not really bending over a lot. And these, of course, are in not in the way of any slides. This slide, if you notice, is higher. So if we had to get in here, we don't have to stoop down as far. This plumbing bay, they've really dressed this up. Yeah, look at how clean it is, Andrew. Yes, sir. I mean, you've got your city water, your taps here. You've got your cable tripods. You've got power if you need it for any outside appliances you need, your water pumps you can check your battery fluids and all your uh, water tanks of course you have your wrench that you can adjust your water filter and remember you can get lots of different filters the filters that can cut out like 99.9% .9 of any particular matter power fresh water hose even a place to put your own uh, hand towels and look at how deep this recessed bay is uh, for your gray and black tanks I really like how low that came so it really is kind of like a true low port drain that you'll hook to the bottom and come out and that won't impede your door or anything like that and yeah, for your feet and showers I mean a guy like me that's great for my hair um, <laughs> but huge shower head and uh, I like the fact that it's got that nice protective coating on it and it can hold right here is where it hold here's your tank flush yeah, so this has this uh, sandy flush. Is that a mass Correct. water system? Yeah, yes, it is. Yeah, I'm noticing a lot of high-end equipment just, you know, in the plumbing bay, Aqua Hot 450D. Now, this has got a full pass-through bay with a manual tray here, mm -hmm. and it looks like some extra dinettes. I'm curious Correct. to see yep. the interior. It looks yep. like they're all wrapped up right now yeah. to keep them protected. This, again, it's a brand new coach, so we don't open these things up, but we, we, we make sure that when we do the PDI that what's supposed to be here, here is here. But you can see also you have tools for your central vac, extra tiles if you ever need them and your inverters up here so it's easy to get you from both sides and notice that's one hand with fingertips very easy to slide so again you don't have to be physically brute to be able to move these things in and out and as we're going around I always like to point out how they bring the paint scheme through the window frames really gives it a nice look it looks like you've got your battery bank and your hydraulic system you got six batteries or AGMs you know that is a generation X 11 paint scheme that they have a 10 and 11 this is at 11 so you do have a choice of paint schemes you can do since we were bringing that up but again they're your typical bay on a tray so you can slide out so you're not having to force yourself to bend over replace batteries if you ever have to or jump or change your uh, hookups so this does have that power pull system as well to help uh, monitor the batteries and keep those level right and that advanced monitoring system I told you about inside again 
will pick up your true voltage of your batteries. Okay. So if you were looking at jumping or how things should be hooked up, positive and negatives, makes it kind of idiot proof. It's right on your door where it should be, where the power is. I like that very well labeled. Now, now this is something I think is a little new, the height of the diesel fuel. I like that it's a higher diesel fuel. What is the fuel carrying capacity? In 150 this gallons on the bus. So you have plenty of fuel to take you on a good trip. Just because it's a shorter coach doesn't mean they've cut back on the quality or the capacities. So I like the fact that you've got a nice size tank. Yeah, so electronic bay here, and I'm seeing a little air chuck here. What is that for? So that air chuck, Andrew, again, you can use with your hose here. If you need to air up tires or power wash or something like that, if you had a need, or maybe you had some water toys or things like that, you want to air up, and if you're out camping someplace to do that, but it's a nice, convenient location for that. And of course, you have your release for your hood. Um, in your front where you have your 10K generator. Yes, sir. That we have uh, uh, coming out the front. And I really yeah. like how Tiffin cleaned up the bay there with the Tiffin logo. Just everything is clean. And, and, while, and while we're out here too, look at the mirrors in terms of the height yeah. and how clean and how simple they are. I really like the looks of those. They're aerodynamic. I like the curvature on them. Your cameras are up high. Mm -hmm. You still have your convex lens down below so you can see that, that yellow lane. And if you're on the passenger side, you can see that white line. So you make sure your coach is centered, but these are nice because I don't think you're going to get near the vibration and any kind of movement you can get in some typical coaches. The thing I really like about these is coming from the RV detailing business and being 6'2", I've bumped my head on a lot of mirrors and that's, you know, that's right, you know, right at about 6'2", so a lot of value to that. Yeah. So we've got this coach all opened up, a really a nice look. I like the illuminated Tiffin badge on the windshield there. Swipe up Swipe there. Swipe up for a doorbell, so it's got a key entry door. Keyless entry and your doorbell, many times you seen them on the grab have an old but again tiffin does it this way i think it's part of their 50th year anniversary a real clean classy neat out of the way of course prevents you from having to worry about carrying your keys all over the place yeah absolutely and i love as we come around the lighting under that awning there just a really nice look and of course that tiffin emblem and it's still light in here but this is illuminated as well just all those little details as true with tiffin many times that window that of course bob would say is for the dog exactly yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's certainly a safety aspect in terms of seeing your blind side that your mirrors aren't catching but it's something i think is kind of traditional with tiffin and it's fun to see that they're carrying it out yeah, absolutely and all the little details they bring that paint scheme through that window frame there uh, and then you've got the dual sided diesel fuel for that 150 gallon diesel fuel tank and notice the stainless steel on the bottom side of the, of, the, of the steps. So again, it'll protect that paint that gets a lot of abuse up in this yeah. part of the coach. It's a big cargo bay up front here, all opened up. This is a place where you could put yourself one of those uh, freezer fridge if you wanted to. This one just doesn't have one, but you can see where you've got power. You certainly have the space, height, and depth to put one of the, a large Dometic in there if you wanted to. Is that something you guys can do here at Trans West if someone does want to add that when they purchase this coach? Absolutely, Andrew. Well, we have the uh, freezer's fridge here, and if we don't have the trays we can get those in we know exactly what size they are it's easy to do a uh, very simple process so again if you order the coach without it and you decided that's what you want to do we could certainly add that to your package yeah nice size uh, entertainment area there lg i like the height of this and then with this door that swings up if you do have sunlight that's going to cut down on glare really a nice setup there with the sound bar if you had your awning out you'd have all that extra coverage but if not i agree with you there's enough i mean we have lights here in the shop and you can see see how this is in the shade right now so it'll be a good vibrant picture yes yeah, so then awnings i'm seeing the manual window gerard awnings around on the windows and then the big gerard patio awning here then you got a full pass through bay on both sides going into the next bay do you know what the holding tank capacities are on this coach say 100 gallons of uh, fresh water 80 gray 65 black looks like a fresh water fill gravity fill yes. from this side so mm -hmm. you can fill your fresh water from both sides another compartment and again doesn't go all the way through but certainly elongated you might be able to fit golf clubs in there oh, i think absolutely. you know yeah or maybe a small boogie board or some things like that some toys but and again the fact that it's, it's sealed it with a, a really really nice form of waterproofing it'd be easy to clean out but also carpeted so it's going to retain some heat so you can again use it into the third season i call it you know your spring and and, and uh, fall so yeah more storage back here uh, we've got uh, more air spigots there yeah so these are your customer air supplies so again you have a 
either primary tank and secondary tank. So again, depending on what you're fueling up or need to fuel or have air dumped or added to it, you know, you have another chuck, if you would, that you can use at your disposal. Nice. So that just gives you some flexibility for the use of the coach. Nice. And as you can tell, here's your battery disconnect and your chassis batteries. Very nice, neat, orderly, well wired, well labeled. I really like how they've labeled it. You know, explicitly there's some extra fuses, a rear inverter, disconnect switch, well insulated so you're not getting drafts going in between the uh, different bays and of course your black and red just it makes it really easy so you don't make a mistake in terms of inadvertently wiring something wrong or reaching for the wrong, the wrong thing as we swing around the back of the coach i love this rear tail light that's a new style do you know when tiffin started doing that style this is about the second year they've done this okay yeah really but it really brightens it up well between that and your clearance lights this one has a 360 camera but that's a slick look Absolutely. Let's uh, take a look at the engine here. So you got the Cummins 450, a lot of power. Yeah, and, and again, your filters are easy to get to, your water, your radiator, your oil, your def fluid, but lots of space to work. And notice how high that is. We talked about yeah. your height. So again, a mechanic or a tech can get in here and not worry about bonking their head on anything. Tiffin's been making uh, motorhomes for 50 years now, so they've, uh, they've thought of a lot. Yeah. And they've done a nice job with this. I, I like, I, I know techs are gonna like the fact of being able to get in here and be able to work. Well, there's a lot going on the outside. You think we take a look inside the coach? Absolutely, I think you're gonna love the new floor plan and colors that this one has. So this is a white mahogany paint, by the way, on the outside, a scheme, the Generation X, a Generation 11. But wait till you see the inside. I think you're really gonna like what you see. Sounds good. Brian, this is a great looking coach. A lot of coach packed into 35 feet. What's all going on inside here? Well, I think, you know, as you do a panoramic or a 360 on this, you're going to see as we walk and talk colors. This is a Largos interior with caramel cherry glazed wood. That's a matte finish. The lines, I think, are just exquisite. I think they're just classy. They're modern. They're clean brushing. There's not a lot of intricacies there that can get caught up in the confusion of making it look antique-ish. It's not that way. I think it goes along with that new age that they're trying to pro uh, project. Catalina floor, heated tile floor, again, matches so nice nice with the with the solid surface counters yeah. and of course the leather so let's go through this a little bit yeah, here. We've, we've a, got let's some. Let's take a look at the cockpit up yeah, there right here. I mean, well, there? you know, when you're looking at a power glide chassis, again, uh, very, very comfortable, easy to drive, maneuver, but you've got everything at your fingertips. And even showing this from over my shoulder, you can kind of see what you would see as a pilot. You've got everything right in your reach, easy to see. Even your shifts are up here, where many times they're back here. And instead of back here, you have your nice big cup holder, but you have your tilt and your uh, telescopic. telescopic thank you uh, both on the side here plenty of controls you can maneuver through your steering wheel your lights are easy to access your parking brake your mirrors are so simple to get but what I love is both the color differentiations and the size and the indicators on the screen that kind of marry into your huge Tiffin screens and look at this kind of a black kind of graphite kind of grayish outline on this just gives it almost like a race car feel yeah you very, see this in, yeah, you know, very sleek style really complements the bright colors and the, the screens are very clear and bright a very crisp cockpit I'd say the t that the technology on the Tiffins I really like what they've done with their screens um, it's just easy to see it's large but it's not intrusive in terms of even as a passenger sits here, sits here. and of course you've got trays that you can get to both your passenger and driver can get to them. Nice wood inlay, nice angled residential finish on those. And the pedals and everything are just easy to reach. Steering wheel, the mirrors, windshield, uh, the black accents here I think is nice because your eyes then go out to the road. And if you ever notice that, if you have something light here, it kind of frames it in. So between your black dash, your black side rails it just gives you a nice expansive view of the road and um, a, a nice clean look i think tiffin did a nice job on this i want to point out i really like this style with the large diamond style stitching on the captain's chairs and then your passenger has a navigation screen here a cup holder and then another touch screen panel uh, you can control your step cover your fans lighting uh, and then you have USB ports here, as well as wireless charging. Just a lot going on uh, up here. 
It's nice to have that second set of controls, if you would, just so you're not distracting a driver saying, hey, honey, what about this? You know, you can find out things you need to. Be a side passenger driver if you want, but the point is you can also control a lot of those amenities and um, options in the coach from the passenger side. Um, yeah, then coming over to the dinette area, this is, uh, I like the positioning of this dinette. This is typically going to be your patio side, so you've got this huge window here. We do have the blinds down. Now, are these all power blinds in this coach? Yes. Okay, cool. Yes. Uh, but I got to point out to you how big, I got my bottle of water here, but I got to point out how big these chairs are, very large. And then I think, could this be utilized as a desk area if uh, if need be? Yes, and um, what I love about it too is that your televator is behind there, so you really don't have any reason to have liquids ever get in the way of there. And you'll notice you have your uh, charging ports both here and again the wall, both sides. So absolutely, Andrew, this could be a phenomenal workstation for those people that are now never going back to the office. <laughs> and also, I think this would be a great counter space for food while you're eating. If you're having entertaining guests, you could set up a little buffet here and people could kind of graze like the big game coming up and things like that and watch the TV at the same time. But I, I think, again, a very functional coach and it has a neat purpose. Yeah, and a little uh, touch screen panel. I like that mm -hmm. they did away with the switches. They have the touch panels, but still a lot of storage space here and I think with laptops and printers now you can kind of set them up when you need. Now this is something really cool. I just <laughs> noticed back here in the galley behind the dinette. Nice little uh, wine cooler for those that uh, enjoy a little bit of vino there. I love the look of that. This fits well in those cabinets. Yeah, what, what a neat what a neat upscale item to add to a, a really beautiful coach. You have your trays that again are easy to get to. Not so tall that if you're short you can't reach in there and see them but anything that again comes down to your beverage entertainment center which I really like that they're putting on an assorter coach these are the kinds of things I think you see on larger coaches and maybe they have a bigger fridge in them soft closed doors deep storage very local in terms of access I would think you would put things in here that you might use on a need basis and then you can swing right around to your kitchen yeah, huge and, galley. Uh, when you look at how much storage, it's kind of like a wraparound kitchen in the middle of the coach here. Mm -hmm. But I really want you to pay attention to the backsplash too. Yeah. Is that not pretty? I mean, it, it's just... It's, it's got a nice texture to it that you mm -hmm. can feel as well. Yeah, beautiful the way it complements these cabinets and more storage overhead. And even the sink matches your handles. Yeah. And your grab handles. I like and, the and, black and the hardware. Soap. Yeah, and that classy. Nice deep sinks. I like that. I mean, if you're going to wash and have a sink and you're going to cook, why not have something that you could actually be functional? Two of them, very nice, deep in size. And then as you move around, you've got plenty of storage. You can take these and put them down there so they're out of the way. Trash over here, and that pulls up. This whole thing will slide out. Notice that dovetail construction there. Yes, good observation in your trash can. It's nice that it's plastic. You know, instead of metal that may, anything that moves around, you know, vibrates, but that's going to stay in its place. But a slick idea, having it on a tray, while we're here, you have your sweep-in central vac right here, as well as your port for your central vac tools that we showed you downstairs in the uh, bay. You have a plug here, and you have plugs all along. You have a very generous sized dishwasher. I remember we always talk about dishwashers from the same point of storage. Some people are like, no, my husband's a dishwasher. Fine. <laughs> well, then don't waste it. Use it for storage. Big yeah. pot, smaller pot, smaller pots, that kind of thing. But all kinds of countertop space. Now, it looks like we've got covers over an induction cooktop here, mm -hmm. but really a nice setup when you do close this up. Tons of, of countertop space here. Right. So it's nice that it's flush. So again, you can use it for prep and not have to be in the way of uh, burners, things like this. Very generous size microwave oven, size spice shelves all the way around here. Just nice, convenient storage areas for your cooking needs. Yeah, and like the nice little drawers here, uh, it just makes it easier to get that stuff that's stored up there. And then you've got storage here above your recliners. And I think we kind of skipped over this theater seating yeah. actually. That's a, a huge highlight of this coach right across from your TV with a televator, and it's got that same kind of a large style diamond stitching. And I'm gonna just take move, a just seat move here. That, Brian's yeah. got just his move notes that. here. Uh, we're gonna tell you what the MSRP of this coach is in a moment, <laughs> but uh, I just gotta... Say goodnight. I gotta try out this recliner here. Brian, if you wanna just show the coach, I'm gonna take yeah, a nap. Yeah, that'll here, work. But, uh, <laughs> you do have cup holders right here, USB ports all over this coach. Nice 
spot for your remotes there. This is very comfortable, so. We'll check back with you after your power nap, Andrew, yes, okay? <laughs> now, now right over there too, you've got the TV lift button too. You just press one button. LED flat screen with a sound bar up above it that's already there. It's hard to see, kind of recessed with, with the valance up there, which is kind of nice, but that's a very, very nice size screen. So really kind of dual utilization of this space. You've got the huge window for the daytime, or you pop that TV up at night across from your recliners. So I like that you either have the view or the closed off look from uh, the, the front of this coach. I agree. We talked about it earlier, but look at how clean the ceiling is. I think they did a beautiful job with their accents, both on the perimeter and on the center part of the coach. Again, it's a soft touch ceiling, but you have plenty of vents. I love the accent lights. Uh, you can turn off your main lights and get just the accent lights on to kind of have a movie mode, if you would. Yeah. Kind of set that stage and that, that ambiance that you'd like. Well, and talking um, about lighting down below uh, in the kitchen, I love how the lights illuminate off of those high gloss floors. Just a really nice, clean look. Same thing in the evening time. If you want to kind of shut the lights off and just keep those lights on the floor, it's enough that you can walk through the coach. And you can even see, Andrew, the reflection. You see the LED strip? I'm reflecting because it's right here, but if you look at it, it's those little dots. Well, you can see it over here. You can see the dots right here. So that's what's yeah. illuminating that all day yeah, long. Yeah, great look. Yes, sir. So here's your nice, generous LG refridge with uh, fresh water, an ice making system. But I mean, look at how large this is. Well lit up, very generous size all the way along. Extra storage for your ice. Um, but I like the fact of again, in a 35 foot coach, you've got plenty of space for your cooking and, and enjoyment and refreshment needs. Um, and again, it's very proximally located to the rest of the galley. And as you come back here, yeah, this is, this new, is isn't it? super nice. Yeah, this is your advanced monitoring system. It is an option. I strongly recommend it. Look at the colors on it. You know, it just makes it easy to see things and you can work your way through. Well, let me go back here. On here, you can see where you've got your temperatures. Remember, you have a heated floor. You can denote your and, and assess your levels of water, even your diesel fuel, which is kind of neat. Many oh, yeah. times it's on your dash. Your lights, your aqua, your generator, your power source, where is the house battery and chassis batteries. Again, they're labeled, temperatures, time, and you can work your way through the lighting, specifically your power. And look at how intricate this is. I mean, we're even talking about your management system, how much heat is on, your aqua hot, if it's on or off, your charge rates, so your solar power, you can monitor that here also. You can go through your temperatures, and you have three temperature ranges, front, middle, and rear, and then you have the floor, and the floor is kind of neat because it's on a scale, it's at a graduating scale from one to five. Okay, so you can so just you have set five different levels of heat, okay. Right, so you can assess that as you want to, and I think that's, as you use a coach, you'll figure out what works best for you, or based on the temperature outside, how much you want to take the chill out, and you can assess it accordingly. Now, do you have two zones of heated floors? Yes, you see where it says front and rear? Okay, yes, sir. And again, it's, it's just so nice because it's labeled so well. I just I think it's just really neat setup. Here's where your slides are and just making sure that you've got things ready before you put your slides out. And it'll tell you that. Obviously, you'll learn it with practice. Um, shades, all your shades, and there's remotes for those too. Your last one where you've got your galley and your mid-bath fans and lids and airflow, your locks, your TV, even that you can do from here, your bed, you can do that before you get into bed. You can uh, use the incline if you want to. And again, the different powers of, of your fans, how much airflow you want. If you open up the windows, you want to suck air in. You know, Maybe you turn those fantastic fans on a little bit stronger. Or for some reason, someone burns something and you want to get it out, you can do that also. Yeah, and it's awesome to see this in a 35-foot coach. Usually, yeah. you don't see this level of technology. So uh, coming back yeah. into the bedroom here, king-size bed, and it is tilted up right now, mm -hmm. giving you a lot of space here uh, from the foot of your bed to your dressers here. Notice how you've got uh, charging to USBs on both sides of the nightstands. Nice tall, I and mean, sometimes this area over the um, pillows yeah, isn't that this, tall. I've got to point out, so they removed the cabinets uh -huh. over here. I love the look of this. This is a very rich look with the panels around the windows and the sconce lighting, mm -hmm. but I think it was definitely a good play to remove those. Now, you're not gonna have a, a spot to store all of your throw pillows. That's gonna be the negative to that, but 
really a big step up. I like that look. Yeah, and it gives you much more, you know, volume of space under there. So if you were inclined at a big guy like you, you know, when you're sitting here and your head's going to be up here, you know, you're not worried about hitting your head, either reading a book or, or anything like that. And opposite of that, again, a generous size TV, a nice size counter space for things that you know you don't want to put in the dresser, and large luminous dressers. I, I mean, I like the fact that they're deep, easy to get to, easy to access. And even the accent lights down below just gives it a bright, fresh, crisp look to it. I think this is neat too. You know, we all use clothes and then they get dirty. Yes, sir. Now you have a hamper and you can pile them in and uh, forget about them when you need them. Electronics, simple to do, easy to access. And if you want to add receivers and whatnot, that's another place to do it. But notice also in Tiffin, Andrew, remember, I haven't done a what? Oh, there's no step up. That's yeah. right. I haven't taken a step, and I love the way that Tiffin does that. It's just a nice clean flow all the way into your bathroom. No good morning and stepping on something or stubbing your toes or yeah. anybody complaining about that, but it's just a slick look all the way through. Well, and the, the, the entryway into the rear bath here is just really large. And this is like, this is a big, big bathroom and a 35-foot coach. Really an incredible use of space. Do uh, you want to show us the shower test there? That's a good, I mean, a 35 foot coach, you just yeah, do not see showers this you've size. You've got a 42 inch rectangular shower. Look at again, the tile is on the back. It kind of matches that kitchen tile. Well, I, I just think it's really classy. You've got those blacks and grays and browns that matches the wall. The black outfitted shower, shower heads, nice large. You've got a water mitigation system. So again, you're recycling water. And when that blue light comes on, then you know it's safe to go into the coach and not burn or scald yourself or get cold. A little soap tray there, a really nice cedar fold-up shower bench uh, for those people that need it. A skylight that you can actually pull across and close if you didn't want the light out there. Towel racks. Yeah, I like just that. Just wash towels, hand towels, just really neat. And again, the black accent just gives it a neat, classy look. Again, over here, you've got access to your storage, but also more importantly, some of your water hoses that you need for your toilet. As we come across here, you've got wardrobe area that is motion light. Did you notice that? Yeah, and I, I when we, uh, <laughs> let's, let's open this side of the yeah. closet up because I want to point out something I really like is the way the hanging bar is downlit so you can really see your clothes well. And then of course a safe, but yeah, really nice uh, lighting here. And then I like that they utilize this space here if you want to store, you know, hats or shoes, mm -hmm. uh, nice that they utilize that. Toilet paper roll right oh, down yep, nice yep. and low. I mean, we got to take care of basic human needs. Yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. This slides across to again show your splendid washer dryer. To your point, even up here at a store. Little storage. spot for laundry detergent. Yes, right. Sir. Or even extra shoes because she yep. knows she's going to make you need them. But, <laughs> but the point is, you're not wasting any space. And if you notice, as in the coach, lighting, yes, I was, I was just know, noticing. At, at every that. corner, you can see these little LED lights that just illuminate yeah. down the wall, but On give the it give it a. Yeah, on the slide face, the lighting, just a really clean look. Yeah, and then two sinks in a 35-foot coach. I don't know if I've ever seen that with the dual vanity in the 35-foot coach. This might be a first. Outstanding. I mean, I think it's, again, a, such a functional layout. Two people can still sit here and get ready, and I like the fact that it's recessed, so cleaning-wise, it's going to be easy. Everything's going to flow in there. You've got uh, storage space, his and hers, and communal. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, but nice lighting both there and behind. Yeah. Towel rack and even a little control here to control your fans and your lighting system. And down below, again, each having his or her own drawers, amenities. But yeah, I agree, Andrew, to have dual sinks in this in a 35 foot coach, flat floor, nice, generous wardrobe backlit, safe, huge uh, shower. Well, Brian, I really appreciate you showing us around this coach. Now, I gotta ask you, if someone wants to become the next owner of this coach, how much money does it take? Well, this one's over 550 grand, um, but obviously we do our best to earn your business and we'll be market-based price, so we're gonna be very competitive. Now, if someone's a serious buyer, who should they get a hold of? Uh, get a hold of me. Absolutely, Brian Schumann here at TransWest in Belton. I'll leave that in the description below. What's your number if you want to give your number real quick? Sure, 816-892-5945. Uh, email address? Uh, Brian, B-R-I-A-N dot Schumann, 
S-C-H-U-M-A-N-N at transwest.com. Awesome, and you guys have been doing a ton of videos on your Transwest YouTube channel as well. I'll make sure to leave a link to that in the description below. Yeah, Brian, I really appreciate you and the team at Transwest. I also really appreciate all of you out there on YouTube subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Take care.